Oh my goodness. This is how everything started. So my dream was to become a footballer. And since the age of, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try and uh, do kickups and then talk. Let's see if I can do it. So since the age of seven or so, I think seven or eight, I had this passion for football and school and myself never went along to be honest and uh, you know like if you <laughs> if you oh my this is so difficult talk <laughs> oh boy <laughs> let's try again let's try again let's try again so if you can relate to me like if you can relate to me if you're into football or people are into football usually when it comes to studies, it's like so difficult, so, so difficult, especially when your parents are not around and you can pretty much just kind of do whatever you want to do. So, again, I'm, I'm letting my subscribers down. Um, but yeah, so um, I played until I was 16, I think. And then I actually got injured and I suffered from something called discoid meniscus. So basically, so basically right here, like on my both knees, sometimes it feels it feels like I broke my knee, like the tendons, they it's like they dis it's like dislocates. Something called discoid meniscus, just, just check it out, it's so horrible. So uh, yeah, so football wasn't meant to be. Um, and then you know, school, I was really terrible. I wasn't the best of the best. Uh, even today, I'm not even the best. But I then had to decide and what I wanted to do with my life and this is where things began so you know I never heard about programming until I was until I was 21 or 20 I think so football wasn't meant to be then I had to decide what I wanted to do with my life and because I had a course which was related to computing, so I used to fix computers before, uh, like, you know, motherboard and fixing Windows XP and all of that good stuff. Don't laugh, yeah. Uh, then, yeah, so I decided to study, um, I think it was web, a B-Tech in web development and business. Well, I think it was just web development and programming, basically. So that was really good because that taught me uh, programming so before I, I i took the course i knew nothing about programming unlike lots of people that know exactly uh, how to code from the age of i don't know nine or, or ten but for me remember i was an adult i was an adult so it was a little bit tricky for me so i knew nothing about programming so yeah so i remember it was challenging um, and to be honest, Alhamdulillah, I've worked really hard in my first in my first year. I remember I could even say numbers, for example, 1,230, for example. I couldn't say that. Even my English wasn't wasn't good. People used to laugh at me. Can you imagine that? Um, so yeah. So then I I just worked really hard. At two years at college, and to be honest, I managed to get the best grades. I still don't brag about it because. I know where I come from, right? I used to, I used to sleep, I, I used to leave, I came from slums. If I show you where I come from, I came from slums, right? My, you know, just, just going back, um, it's been a long journey, right? And the purpose of this video is just to, to give you the boost and tell you that, yes, you can do it. You know, it doesn't matter your, your circumstances, where you come from, you can do it. So two years at college, I've done really well. I've managed to get the best grades. Then I had to do GCSE in math, yeah, maths, English, in order to, to basically apply for uni. And that's how I got into one of the best unis uh, in the entire world. I think it was top 11, something like that. I can't remember exactly how it's doing now, but um, that's how I did it. So then, from college to uni, this was pretty much like the last um, bit of the puzzle. 
So going into my first year, it was really difficult. I'm not going to lie to you. And I, I, I got really bad grades on my first year. Um, and this was because I wasn't used to it. You know, remember, coding and programming was new. I, I, was, I, I only knew about it for, for two years, right? And then going to uni, it was like, I remember like going into computer logic lectures. Bro, sister, it was difficult. The teacher was talking about um, natural deduction and all these things. And it was like completely new. So I was like, what is this? Like, it was so difficult. Because of, of finding things difficult, and as soon as I, I realized, you know, this is starting to make sense, uh, I started making videos. And you can go back on my previous videos and you'll see that my first batch of videos were on natural deduction. Just, 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 just go and check them out. So natural deduction, teaching other people because I was like, fine, you know, other people are struggling. I wasn't the only one on the same boat. And other people are struggling. So let me just record the same uh, the, the, the same content for everybody to learn. Then moving on to second year, um, I think, yeah, second year, I then, I think Ernani, I've actually, I knew from the first year, but the second year we used to hang out quite a lot together. Uh, and yeah, and uh, we, both of us actually worked really hard um, throughout the second year. So we knew that, you know, how, is, how it was going to be and uh, yeah, we never went f for pubs and drinks and all of these things that, you know, um, college and, and uni, or actually university students uh, do, right? So I never done none of that. For me, it was mainly like focus, 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 work hard, work hard, because I knew uh, where I came from. So, and then the third year, that was like the, the last year. And actually, um, I, I managed to secure uh, an internship uh, on my second year and then following that I secured a job for um, or actually upon completion of my of my third year which was really nice so going into my third year it was just focusing on the lectures uh, to be honest I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't make it to to the last let to the morning lectures to be honest uh, it was I think it was distributed systems I, I barely went to that lecture uh, because yeah, I was so busy and I would stay at uni until 1, 2 a.m. I remember the last day where we had to submit our final, final year project. Me, Anani, Elijah, uh, Seb, um, I think Ahmed, we slept at uni. It was crazy, man. But yeah, it paid off and uh, the rest is story. So this is how everything began. And uh, this is why you see I teach um, coding. I, I give you guys motivational uh, videos because I, I, I want you guys to believe that it is possible, right? So me um, knowing nothing about coding and then learning all of these things and, and just looking back, I was like, you know, uh, would I ever get it? Like, would I ever write a single line of code? Oh boy, you know, 20 lines of code. Ah, this is so difficult how many classes and all of these things right but now just looking back um you know coding it is something that if you put in your mind that it's something that you want and you're not going to give up you know halfway then you're going to make it you know i know a lot of people that dropped out of university on their first year because it was really tough but don't be one of them and um yeah if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe give me a thumbs up uh, and let me know like if you like videos videos like this so i'm planning on recording more videos um outside uh yeah kind of vlog type video so just let me know whether you want to see more and uh, yeah if you're not part of the amigos code community over 20,000 people already discord and facebook go ahead and join link will be in the description of this video if you want to learn about programming check amigoscode.com where i teach um pretty much everything for you to succeed as a software engineer assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I'll see you later. So let's see now. How many, how many, how many, how many can I do? Let's see. Can you see everything? Right, I think it's good. So, um, pick a number. 18, okay, fine. One, oh, that didn't count. One, oh, that didn't count as well. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
19, 19, I think I, I didn't even count that properly. But anyways, uh, I love football. Let me know if you're from London. We can play football uh, one of these days. And uh, yeah, just uh, let me know. Assalamu alaikum.